Alrighty, so let's take a look at this whole thing. Um, overall, it just felt a bit slow and even in timing. Now, then again, it is also very loving and slow idea-wise. So let's go one by one. I would probably take a look at the overall staging is okay up until here. So I'm not sure if if you're just looking into mechanics and then you're going to do a little reframe and you're going to do the camera later to tilt up. Um, so I'm slightly confused at this, this framing here. This is fine here. But I think we might get away with uh, either two ways. Either you do this, just in terms of general framing, where you keep him low, where you kind of continue with that idea of I got to I got to sneak not be too loud and instead of a regular posture it's more something like this where he kind of gets close to her and is kind of trying to be quiet. And I think that's okay even though I wonder if we could just kind of pan over a bit and, and reframe but you could probably just leave it like this where you leave him low and he does a bit more of a sneaky approach. No, not sneaky in terms of, you know, mischievous, but he doesn't want to wake her up and does that. Or you keep this and we tilt up, follow him down, and then do a reframe and pan over so that it's a bit more um, balanced. So we don't have that massive empty frame coloring and all that stuff here. And I don't mind panning over since we're already doing a tilt. So it's kind of, it's, it's within the shot that we're reframing. I'm not sure that if you keep him low all the time that we need to reframe because then it suddenly f might draw attention to itself, might be too weird. But I think it's something that we can definitely, um, you know, add at the end. I think it's an easy tweak or just an exploration. My biggest question to you is, what are your intentions with this? How come he is so off uh, frame there? Uh, do you want to tilt up or do you have another idea? Because I'm looking at your email. Um, and I don't see anything regarding that moment. That to me is the biggest, uh, the biggest section in terms of blocking. I think it's a little bit rough in terms of ideas where I think you could have something where I don't mind, but it's not long. You can have something where he's got a slight look over to the TV and I might, I don't, to be honest, I can't remember what I said last time. So I might, I might be saying something where you go, wait, but last time you said something else. Uh, and I should probably rewatch what I said, but here is my my unfiltered uh, uh, thought process. There, that right now he always has that same expression, and I think even in early blocking, you want to con uh, communicate and convey a change or just whatever goes on. And right now he's always kind of that same emotional state and visually the same uh, expression. I'm not saying you got to do the crazy facial stuff in blocking, but basic basic changes if there is anything so that's why I'm, I'm wondering well if he looks a bit you know takes a step and looks a bit at the tv or something where he might just have a less amused look and then head turn you know even even if it's through here that's just his secondary action he just wants to put it down because there's food and as he does this he realizes oh wait she's asleep and then you could use this moment maybe as a slight pause of, oh, and he has that expression change of, oh, she's asleep. And then as he takes the handoff, it's a very deliberate, slow, delicate handoff. So we understand that normal move. I'm just going to put this down. Oh, wait, I'm seeing her. She's, she's tired. She, she's asleep. Let me now change my movement to be quiet, which includes not propping this out hard, but making this nice and soft. So this move will be slower. And then getting into this hunched over, quite, quite, quiet into this. And again, this could be with mouth open and big eyes like, Ooh, let me just be quiet. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. And then once you're here, you can change into this where it's just a lot more subtle and loving where you get into this and then that. And that way, to me, at least there would be a different state of mind at the beginning and an expression, then a different one as you get closer. And then the last one where it's just all about I love her and she's so cute. Um, I mean, that's just me. I just It will give you just a bit more contrast and progression and change versus this always being the same thing. 
Now, that being said, uh, you might have, you know, other things in mind that uh, are just not visible here. And you just, you know, that's just your early take and, and there's going to be more. So that's just more like me brainstorming, thinking out loud, asking questions, suggesting things, but not, you know, I'm open to all kinds of things, right? So whatever you want to let me, uh, whatever you want to tell me, let me know the email so we kind of get a bit more of a, a clearer sense of what's going on. I think that's about it. Yeah, it just feels, and again, I know this is early, but you may argue, well, you know, they don't have to do all the crazy steps and, you know, the weight and everything, but you know, just all that feels all very, very slow and floaty, but I, I know it's early, but I'm looking at it in terms of what can we do to give this a bit more contrast and progression and change and just interest. So it's not just one state of mind throughout the whole time into this. Anyway. Yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, looking at this, it would be kind of cute. Just a little bit of a change. And maybe, you know, even if he looks up, maybe he looks at down at this. And you don't need to have the TV and, you know, flickering lights or whatever. It just goes down and has some food. And then on this, looks up and realizes, oh, again, like I said, she's asleep. And then you get that pause here. And you can have maybe a quick glance down there. And then you do that soft putting down and then soft timing of taking that hand off. So now we understand, oh, now he's being, try, he's trying to be quiet. And then just the difference. Yeah, this is my biggest question of what your plan is uh, in terms of this. All right. I think that is it. I will let this be. You let me know via email how you want to proceed and then we shall continue. All right. Thank you. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.